Hello my dear friends and students. This is Miss Anupama welcoming you all on Miss Anupama's channel. So my dear students, in this session I am going to explain you the representation of five digit numbers on an abacus. Okay. So in my previous video, uh, you have learned that four digit numbers, representation of four digit numbers on abacus, then reading, writing, numbers, four digit numbers. Now this session I am going to complete five digit numbers. Okay, my dear students. So first of all, what is an abacus? It's abacus is nothing but a counting. Okay, uh, it is used for counting and representing numbers. You have to count and you have to write down the numbers. For that abacus is used. So now we are going to learn representation of numbers of five digit numbers on an abacus okay on a spike of abacus now shall we start now you can see on the blackboard on the board look at the symbols and read the numbers they make okay you have to look at uh, you have to look at these symbols and you have to write them you have to write them read them in numbers and figures now this is five digit number five digit numbers means my dear students it is 10,000 okay it is 10,000 now shall we start with the first one yes now see here abacus some beads okay beads are there then on the spike of abacus the numbers uh, the beads are representing so you have to count you have to write down and you have to read the numbers okay so on the spike of first number units place how many beads are there it is one okay it is one units place it is one okay now on the tens place how many beats are there one two hundreds place okay hundreds place how many beats okay it's one on thousands place two ten thousands place one two three four okay there are four beats now read the number it is 42,121. Okay, it is 42,121. Now, we will write the number in words. Okay, it is 42,100. 42, 121 okay got it my dear students okay guys now first one is finished now we'll start with the second one now you can see here on the abacus okay on the spike of the units place only one bit is there so we'll write one on the units place so tens place no beats okay so you can put zero hundreds place no beats zero thousands place no beats zero okay now you have to count the beats which is on thousands ten thousands place so count it one two three four five okay so the spike represents five beats so we'll write we'll read the number first okay the number naming we'll do first so it is fifty thousand and one what is this fifty thousand and one will write down in words okay it is 50 thousand and one okay because my dear students there is no units uh, tens place no hundreds value is given no thousands value is given only the ten thousands in units so it is fifty thousand and one okay got it now we'll start with the third one so here on this third sum on the abacus spike units place how many bits are there so we'll count first one two three four five and six 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 bits okay then tens place one and two hundreds place no bits so put zero thousands place no bits zero Ten thousands place, we'll count it. One, two, three, four, five, and six. 
okay so we'll read the number it is 60,026 okay 60,026 because hundreds no value thousands no value so it is 60,026 together you uh, tens and units you have to read together so it is 60,000 60,000 and 26 understood my dear students yeah it is once again we'll read the number it is 60,026 60,026 okay we'll do the fourth one now so on this units place any beats are there no beats so it is zero tens place no beats hundreds place no yeah thousands place one pink color beat is there okay on the spike of this abacus on the thousands place one beat represents so it is one ten thousands place how many beats are there just count one two three so three beats so it is thirty one thousand the number represent is here 31,000. We will write the number in words. 30. 31,000. Got it? Okay. Great. Now, no units place, no beats. Tens place, no beats. Hundreds place, no beats. Straight away the thousand and the ten thousands place is there. So, it is 31,000. Okay, okay, you can look here, representation of numbers in words and figures, okay. So, we are going to learn about it now. The numbers in words as well as in figures given, so we are going to understand how it forms. So, first, num uh, first sum it says that 62,037, 62,037, so this number which is in numbers in words we have written here in figures also by using the standard form okay standard form by using the standard form we have written the number here it is 62037 so what it means so here it means that we have 60 10 thousands okay 60 10 thousands 2 thousands so no hundreds value is there and 37 means here 37 together we are going to okay together we are going to read it it is 30 plus 7 tens and units place okay so in tens plus uh, uh, tens plus 30 and in units plus 7 so it is 37 together 37 so it is 32 uh, 62037 now the second one it is 70,206. So, by standard form, we have written the number in figure like 70,000 by separating with comma 206. It means that here we have only 70, 10,000. There is no thousands value. You can see there is no thousands value, my dear students. So, it is 70,200 are there. How many? 200 are there and 6 only the unit place is given to us unit number is given to us no tens number uh, tens value is not given so it is 70206 okay so the last one we'll see now it is 30001 it is 30001 and now with this i finish the examples uh, representation of numbers on an abacus and how to write the numbers in words and figures okay five digit numbers are finished so my dear friends and students in my next video I am going to explain you the exercise which is on page number 11 in your max textbook okay so thank you for watching me just keep liking my videos share the videos subscribe the videos and hit the 
bell icon so that you'll get the notification of my next videos so it's a request to all my students do practicing all these sums at home write down in your notebook and practicing okay keep practicing the sums thank you so much keep smiling stay at home